it was maybe not even a 24 hours from my last video and I really want to thank several of you I think six or seven maybe eight emails questions or messages which I received basically saying commenting or asking okay the main obstacle people have maybe that we don't know what is actually stopping us what is actually causing us to be stuck to be hitting that invisible barrier we don't know uh, before we know exactly uh, we cannot move we cannot deal with it so but the question which I received is some of you have asked me I'm really thankful for all of you who asked this okay but why why we don't know when somebody slaps me I know who slapped me when somebody punches me when somebody hurts me uh, I know what's the problem when somebody whatever yeah when, when, when I have not enough uh, funds to pay for something I know basically why it is so why then we cannot uh, apply the same principle why, why this is not uh, as easy as simple in this case but I have to agree but very partially like really partially and really I have to disagree because you even on a physical plane even on a physical plane you don't know actually always what is troubling you this is why you go to doctor not even for a psychological problem mental problems only but you go to doctor in order to solve different physical problems pains edges whatever it's not that you know it's not it's not that we know all the time what is actually problematic is it, isn't it so that's one thing first comment and second comment which is uh, which I promised in the title of this video is why to answer why the real reason why we don't know well it's basically because of the how the Vedic scriptures explain it's a chewing the chewed chewing the chewed or let me use another ancient Vedic example it's a blind man follows the blind man what I want to say by this what they're explaining is that um, generation after generation your mother father their father his father grandfather of his grand 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 grandfather and so on and so on nobody was taught to deal with deep-rooted traumas with deep-rooted obstacles with limiting beliefs with uh, habitual self-help talk with a uh, inner critic with a uh, abundance consciousness nobody has been taught to develop wealth abundance prosperity consciousness which is in synergy with the uh, energy of this universe with the energy of this creation with the energy of the macrocosmos with the higher highest and higher dimensions of the existence nobody was taught to develop that power that shakti that prowess so everybody continued throughout the history it's you can look it backwards or from whatever point of history you want it just continued to chew the chewed yes there were times when people were some people some royal families some sages lines of the disciplic succession of the sages and lines of uh, uh, families were, were aware of it were very much aware and able to spread that consciousness that awareness yes but it got lost pretty much the only advantage of this age of technical development and consumerism one of the best and not the only but one of the best and really really great advantages is that today is easier more than probably ever before in the latest history of this universe is to get information about actually what's going on 
now you don't have to travel 17 da days or eight months by horse or by foot to get to the sage, to get to the Gurukula, to get to the ministry, to get to, uh, I don't know, royal families or to some other place to get the knowledge. Now, it's only a question if you have a sincere desire to do so. So, to repeat, the reason why people are stuck is because they don't know what actually is stopping them. Why they don't know? Because nobody fuck. Sorry for my friends. Nobody actually learned. Nobody has taught them. It's chewing the chewed. It's simply repeating the ignorance generation after generation. That's the whole point. Have a nice day.